The second round of last night's NBA draft came and went without Mike Dom or Matt Mooney hearing their names called. Now the two former Summit League stars look to work their way up to the association, starting in the Summer League. Former South Dakota State star Mike Dom announcing via Twitter today that he signed to play for the Portland Trailblazers NBA Summer League team. The seventh leading scorer in NCAA Division I history with 3,067 points, Dom is also SDSU's career leader in rebounds, free throws, field goals, and three-pointers. The Trailblazers begin summer league play on July 6th in Las Vegas' Thomas and Max Center. Ironically, that's where Dom's former coach, T.J. Otzelberger, will be coaching at UNLV next year. Well, former Coyote Matt Mooney also confirmed via Twitter today that he signed a deal to play for the Atlanta Hawks summer league team. After transferring in from Air Force, Mooney averaged just under 19 points a game in Vermillion over the course of two seasons. He used his graduate transfer option to play at Texas Tech last year, where he helped the Red Raiders reach the national championship game. And their summer league season begins on July 7th as well. That'll also be in Las Vegas. Now the Timberwolves wrapped up their draft by taking Washington's Jalen Noel with the 43rd overall pick. This after trading the number 11 pick in Dario Saric to Phoenix for the number 6 pick to get Mooney's former Texas Tech teammate Jarrett Culver. Now, kind of a complicated thing here, but because that deal involved an active player, it's not going to be official until the NBA's league year begins on July 6th. So the Timberwolves can't actually confirm it, and that's why a lot of guys who were traded last night were wearing very weird hats. Rules. Anyway, the NHL draft begins with the first round tonight in Vancouver and continues with the later rounds tomorrow. There's a good chance a member of the Sioux Falls Stampede will be drafted for the sixth straight year. Their top prospect is defenseman Ryan Johnson. In 66 regular season and playoff games for the Clark Cup champion Stampede, he scored eight goals and tallied 25 assists. The Minnesota Wild have the 12th overall pick as well in the first round and will have updates all week on KDLT News. And of course, it's a busy playoff week for the Sioux Falls Storm out at the Premier Center. They play the Tucson Sugar Skulls at three. Curtis Riggs not too high on his team though. We'll have that story coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Uh, finally, the Sioux Falls Canaries wrapped up a wild series with the St. Saint Paul Saints yesterday in which the teams combined to score 93 runs. The Birds lost 15, 13, and 10 innings yesterday. Now, even though the pitching has struggled, the offense is a big reason they're in first place at 18 and 14 in the Southern Division. Five players are batting above 300, and though the team still has some pop, it's clear they don't rely on the home run ball either. You know, and one of the things I wanted to do this offseason was get guys that grind out at bats, get into their bullpen early, um, in the series uh, and just really lean on opposing pitching staffs and, and just have a lot of traffic on the bases. And, you know, I think we've done a lot of that this year and that's led to some really big innings for us. The Canaries open a three-game set in Sioux City this evening. We'll have highlights at 10. Back in a moment.